Hi guys, so I just got this iPhone 6 from Recycling, and it has one issue, uh, the battery is bloated. So I got the previous owner to remove their iCloud, and yeah, so now I am going to replace the battery. This seems to be an original Apple battery. Um, when the phone was still, um, you know, not reset, um, it showed 100% battery health. And pretty much everything's working. It's 64 gigabytes and silver. I'm going to be replacing the battery, as I said. And I'm going to grab a battery from another parts iPhone 6. Here's another 6. It's in bad condition, so I'm just going to take the battery out. It should be a brand new battery in here. Now to get this battery out, which might be a bit of a process. This repair actually went pretty smoothly. I first removed the bottom screws, which popped the display out. Then I took off the battery bracket, which was pretty easy. I made sure that the phone had no power going to it and that I got rid of all the power before I started removing the display. I did that by pressing and holding the power button because that would have got any excess power out of the phone. So then I took the display off because that makes it a lot easier to get at the battery. So I made sure to not bend any of the connectors while taking them out. I don't want this display to rip since it's a good condition OEM Apple one. I tried getting one of the pull tabs with my finger, but then it didn't work, so I had to take the Taptic engine out of the phone and then get at the pull tab um, on the left. This actually worked perfectly, there was no issues with that pull tab. Then I got some tweezers and I started curling up the pull tab, and then it went out perfectly fine. So then I got this battery out. Okay, so... I got this out, so now I'm going to put this new one in. It's called a high capacity battery, I never see the difference, but I'm going to put the thing back together now. Reassembling the phone is easier than disassembling it, but it's still not too easy on these iPhones. So I first started by putting all the connectors back in place except for the battery. I got the Taptic engine, or as the iPhone 6 labels it, the vibration motor in. As you see, that was easy, and it only took two screws. That gives me much better clearance to the battery when taking it out, and that's why I removed it. I did not install any adhesive strips on the battery, as I don't have any, but it doesn't really rattle around anyway, and as you see, the top left is kind of curling up. I'll probably replace this battery eventually, but I just don't feel like doing it right now. So I got all the shields back on, which they actually went on pretty fine on this phone, smoother than pretty much any other iPhone repair I've done. The battery connector shield actually took a bit of trying to get in, but eventually I managed to get it in perfectly fine. I just had to kind of bend it a bit. Alright, so that actually went pretty smoothly. I'm just putting in the bottom two screws now. This is from Recycling, as I said. I actually, um, it had no passcode, so I got the owner's phone number, texted them saying, you know, can you remove your phone from the iCloud? And they did. They reset it too from Find My iPhone, which is pretty good in my opinion, since I don't want to go through this person's stuff. Here we go. Last screw. And there. So it was in perfect condition before I dropped it. Completely on accident. And now there's a uh, scratch in it. So, yeah. But, um, let's set it up. Of course, uh, I screwed up the language and all. I don't know why. So usually I wouldn't care about a 6, but this one just is in really nice condition. Um, one thing that I did notice about this other battery was it was um, actually replaced in the 2018 Apple battery replacement program, and it had 100% battery health. I would not use this battery. Less for the fear of it blowing up, more for the fear of it um, destroying the display, and also I kind of want to have this phone in good condition. So, yeah. Uh, this phone does have a matte screen protector on it, like a plastic one. Yeah, it looks to be in great condition. Uh, screen's popping out a bit, probably from the battery. Um, it's not, you know, bulging or anything, it's just, um, 
the fact that this high capacity battery from eBay is not the best. Thank you for watching and uh, goodbye.